Hello, this is John Clements for UMass Extension. This afternoon, we're at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in Belchertown, Massachusetts, and we're going to look at some peach buds to see if we had any freeze damage from the recent real cold weather we had last week. The reason we're going to look at these peach flower buds is because last week, the temperature dropped as low as 12 degrees here overnight, and as soon as the temperature goes below minus 10 Fahrenheit, between minus 10 and minus 15, we can expect to have some flower bud injury to peaches. And although we don't need that many viable flower buds to make a full crop, it's nice to know if we had damage or not and when we had it. To make the assessment of the fruit bud injury, all we need is a single edge razor blade. Using the single edge razor blade, you simply slice vertically through the fruit bud to expose the inside of the fruit buds. Here you can see there's browning on the inside of both fruit buds, which indicates that the flower parts of these buds are damaged and will likely not set fruit. Again, I'm cutting through the center of the fruit bud with a razor blade, exposing the inside of the fruit bud and the flower part. And again, you can see that this one is browned and is not going to have a fruit. Like I said, when the temperature falls below minus 10 Fahrenheit, it's a good idea to go out to your peach orchard, cut some of the buds vertically with the razor blade, and try and see if you have the damage. Uh, sometimes it's best to wait a few days so the temperature warms up, say uh, five to seven days, a week or so afterwards, to give the tissue time to actually uh, die and show the browning. This is important because it'll help you decide how you're going to prune in the spring, if you anticipate a light crop, you don't want to prune the trees nearly as hard, and it'll give you an idea of what kind of peach crop you might have in the upcoming growing season. This is John Clements for UMass Extension. Have a good day.